Welcome back. In this module, I'm going to show you how to run the MIPS FPGA system on the Nexus 4 DDR FPGA board. So this is a quick start guide into getting the MIPS FPGA system up and running. So the two steps are to connect the Nexus 4 DDR board to your computer and then download the bit file onto the Nexus 4 DDR board. So as a review, this is the uh, Nexus 4 DDR board, you can see the Arctic 7 FPGA there in the middle of the board. We're going to plug the cable into the USB programmer port, and the other side of the cable goes into our computer. And then after we download the bit file onto the board, we're going to press the processor reset button to reset the MIPS FPGA system. So now we're going to connect the Nexus 4 DDR board. We're going to do step one to the computer and we're going to make sure to turn on the Nexus 4 DDR board after we connect it. Okay, so we connect up the two sides of the cable and we turn the board on. So when the Nexus 4 DDR board starts up, it runs a default program and runs a pattern on the seven segment displays. So the next thing we need to do is open up Vivado. We'll click on the start button and type in Vivado. I have 2016.2 installed. Now we see the welcome screen of Vivado and we're gonna open the hardware manager. So we either can click on the center button, open hardware manager, or we can choose flow, open hardware manager. Now we're going to open the target and select auto connect. If your if your Vibato doesn't connect to your board at this point, it could be because you forgot to turn your board on or perhaps you don't have the drivers installed. So if that's the case, go back and install your drivers. Easy thing, check make sure it's on. Now we're going to click on program device and select the XC7A100T underscore zero. This indicates that it's the Arctic 7 FPGA. So we click on that, and now we're going to indicate a bitstream file that configures the FPGA to be the MIPS FPGA system. So we click the Browse button, and we browse to the Getting Started Guide folder. So this was distributed with the Getting Started Guide materials. We click on the RTL UP folder, then click on Boards, Nexus 4 DDR, and we notice a bit file here, MFP Nexus 4 DDR.bit. We click on that, and then click OK, and Program. After Vivado completes programming the Arctic 7 FPGA, we're going to click on the CPU reset button here to reset the MIPS FPGA system and begin the preloaded program that increments the LEDs. And that's it. Now we have our MIPS FPGA system running on our Nexus 4 DDR board.